Seriously, take 100 seconds and watch this. It's World HIV Day. Here are some facts that you must know about HIV. I'm living with the virus, so you just kind of have to trust me about these facts. Number one, HIV and AIDS are not the same thing. But even if you continue to choose to call the human immunodeficiency virus by the diagnosis AIDS, which literally has the word syndrome in its name, which is obviously not a virus, just do it knowing how uneducated I think that you sound and how real the possibility is that you probably call a SUV a truck. Number two, I don't know one person living with HIV or AIDS that doesn't have sex anymore after diagnosis. I'm sure we still all have great sex. I had great sex last night. But we're not out infecting people. Why would we do that? What benefit would we gain? No, if someone living with HIV wants to hook up, don't block us on the apps, you prick. Instead, ask us questions and we'll gladly explain to you how you can choose to protect yourself. Number three, when people become undetectable for about six months, the risk of transmitting HIV to anyone, regardless of PrEP or even condom usage, is actually zero. Sex with us is anything but risky. Look, I'm medicated, I can't transmit, and I'm honest about it. But some of the reactions that people give us, people living with HIV as we disclose on those apps, some of those reactions are exactly why people lie. Think about that. Number four, there is still a high number of people that think they are negative and they are telling you that they are negative. But in fact, they're just undiagnosed and they don't know it. They're not aware that they're infected. Maybe it's you. Do yourself the favor and your sex partners the awesome courtesy of going and getting screened for HIV. It's really as simple as that. Just go back to get your result. Finally, I will never say I'm glad I contracted HIV because I'm not. But believe me, my life is not meaningless and it has a purpose. Did it force me to grow up quickly and get serious about being a healthy guy? Well, of course. Did it help take away my biggest fear in life as a gay man, HIV? Weirdly, yes. I'm not scared of HIV. I'm educated as hell about it, and it's manageable, and I don't have to worry about it showing up during sex to anyone else. You want to help end HIV stigma? Speak up. Silence it. We need you. I'm Josh Robbins.